Hey everybody, it's Tina Campbell, the New York Regional Partner of Master Networks. Welcome to A Lunch and Learn. Uh, we're doing this, we're hoping to help um, entrepreneurs and business uh, leaders and members and beyond to pivot during this difficult time that we're going through, but I'm really hoping that some of these suggestions and Lunch and Learns will really be um, still timely uh, even after we get out into kind of transitioning to that new normal. And today, I'm really excited because I have a friend of mine, and her name is Jane McCarthy, a.k.a. Jane Storm. <laughs> um, and her topic is getting through the storm using the Jane Storm method or process. So welcome. How are Hi, you? how are you, Tina? Great. So can you, you tell, us, tell us about yourself? So my name is Jane McCarthy, and born and raised in Massapequa, Long Island. I know you're a Long Islander. That's right. And uh, I graduated from college on May 4th, and on May 6th, I started working for 9X, which became Verizon. And in December of 2018, I was given the opportunity to take a package. And it was something that I couldn't not take. It was 15 months pay and 15 months benefits. Yeah. And I said, this is my chance to launch something. At that point, I didn't know what it was going to be. And so I was traveling a lot for Verizon and it was in October, I think it was October 7th of 2018. And I'm like, what am I going to do? And I remembered three years ago being with the marketing company. I ran the loyalty program for business to business customers in Verizon for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And the loyalty company that we, I worked with was Kobe Marketing. And I showed up there three years ago and on their board was a huge sign and it said Jane Storm. And I was hysterical. I'm like, what the hell is that? And they said, when you show up, you connect people with ideas better than anybody we've ever known. And we don't brainstorm, we Jane Storm. Oh, that is and fantastic. That epiphany hit me in October, 2018, that that was going to be the name of my company, Jane Storm, connecting people with ideas. And then through friends, I found Master Networks. And in August, I joined Master Networks and I learned about sound bites. And I learned about really figuring out what is the mission of Jane Storm. And I added in Jane Storm, a positive force for your future. Fantastic. Because what I'm doing is taking learning of 18 years of loyalty experience, plus going to get my coaching certification. I'm a certified professional coach and in process for the next eight months to get all of mod my modality certifications for the International Coaching Federation. Fantastic. So, awesome. So good. So I'm excited to hear, you know, I, I've, you and I've had some conversation in the past, obviously, but I'm really excited to see this kind of in a concentrated form. So you'll share your screen? I will. Great. To the right. This is always the great thing is, ah, go back. It's okay. Don't worry about it. If you could just, yeah, slideshow. Yep. New slideshow. Yeah, it's on, and then just actually slideshow is like you're in view. Go to slideshow at the top next to yeah. review at the yeah, top. I'm, I'm, right I'm in. Oh, there it is. Got it. There it is. Okay. And then okay. from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So as I said, I'm a chief brainstormer for Jane Storm connecting people and ideas, a positive force for your future. So when we think of what's going on right now, the most important thing for businesses and for people is to protect your core. And how do you protect your core? You know, we could start with accountability, but I think we're going to end with it today. Okay. Because you're gonna go through affirmations and gratitude, loyalty, mind mapping and optimism. And why we do that is because in the end, accountability is really the overarching responsibility that we all have for ourselves and our business in everything that we do. Why affirmations? A year ago, I went and got my certified professional coach certification. And I learned a lot about affirmations and I learned how important they are. They create impact. They help build confidence. They lower tension. 
they break through mind clutter. I've spent the last 15 months working on a, with a company called Ara Sisters as a consultant. And we've spoken to women of every race, color, creed, and circumstance across the United States. And all the women that I met, I realize there's so much mind clutter and it's negative. And I just think that if we spend some more time looking at affirmations, we can improve our life by being positive. So some of the affirmations that I've come up with for this COVID experience is personal. I am finding support. You are one of my supporters, Tina, right? You, you are going out, you are helping the world. We are the world is your personal mantra. I think you should be singing that daily. <laughs> no, you don't want me to sing. <laughs> for career, I have unique skills and talents to share. One of the things we find with Master Networks is there are lots of us that do a lot of the same things, but we're all so unique. And each of us brings something to the table. So it's important to know what your unique talents are that you can share. Health, my body is strong. Wow, we live in New York. The numbers are high. We want to keep our body strong. Relationships, I am attracting like-minded people who wanna grow. I think that's one of the things that we've learned from you through this whole uh, experience. And I'm going to get into growth mindset more towards the end of this presentation, but it's important to know that you don't have to stay in a fixed mindset. And when you can connect with other people that think like you, you move forward. Finances, I'm saving money by staying home. We're all saving money by staying home. Yeah. And then lifestyle, I am planning to take a vacation after the COVID storm. Absolutely. I say that every single day, every day. I am a vacation person. I am someone, this is the longest I have been in my house in five years. I am a traveler, so I can't wait. Gratitude, it's so important. Grateful people accept life as a gift versus life as a burden. What are the benefits of gratitude? Positive mood, increased happiness, more satisfaction with life, less materialistic, and enhanced peace of mind. Gratitude has the power to heal, energize, and change lives. I don't know if you've heard the story that I've told about Gary's Hearts, Tina. So I have a friend, Sam Willing, and she runs a podcast, Imperfection Wins, out of Seattle. And about a year ago, her father came to her and said, there's a guy named Gary. He, he actually makes hearts. And each one of them is different. And he's like, I don't know if you like them, but I think they're kind of cool. And she said, oh, my God, that's going to be the name of my podcast, Imperfection Wins, because none of us are perfect, and wow. we have to brace the imperfection. Wow. So she has a little card and it says, use this heart as a reminder that things don't need to be perfect to have a meaning. And what she did is she went around and worked with some people and realized she didn't want to sell the hearts for herself, but she wanted to sell the hearts for Gary. And she started to sell the hearts and it became a tidal wave of compassion. And within the first two months, he was able to buy a toilet. He was able to buy eyeglasses, things he could never have before. But the most beautiful part of the story is that in December of 2019, she and her husband gave Gary a check for, their elect for his electricity. He lived in a trailer park for the rest of the year for 2020. And he wouldn't accept the money. He gave it to his neighbor because he felt so much abundance and gratitude for what he had gotten from the hearts that he wanted to pay it forward. Oh my Lord. So it's just the tidal That's wave of compassion wild. and how when we live in gratitude, we make a difference. So there are 80, this is one of my favorite quotes that I've found in the last couple of months. There are 86,400 seconds in a day. Use some of them to say thank you. It is so simple, two words, thank you. So I love people that are watching this to send me a note at the end, we'll give you our, my information. What and who are you grateful for? Give me three people. Just you writing that down is going to make you happier and make you more grateful 
and make you more mindful of the good things that are in your life. Who are you grateful for, Tina? So I was just, I was, I wrote that down because I was thinking, I mean, it's, you know, it's so many more than three. It's every single member of our Master Networks family. It's my family, my own family. Yeah. There's just so many people that are, it's just a waves and waves of positivity that are just yeah. coming every day, um, seven days a week. It, it's incredible. Right. Really right, incredible. It is. Well, I thank thankful thankful for you, Jane. Ah, uh, right back at you, lady. Right back at you. So, I spent eighteen years working on loyalty, and if you and I were together and we were in a group of people right now, I would do the following. If anybody has bad hearing, you may want to sit, step away from the mic for a minute. Okay. <laughs> when I say Jane, you say Storm. Jane. Storm. Jane. Storm. Jane. Storm. Loyalty is an emotion. It's a feeling. That's great. It's what people feel about you and about the brand. That's what makes a difference. Yep. Loyalty affects your bottom line. It affects your reputation. It affects your referrals. If you go to your loyal customers, 85% of the time, that's where you're going to get your new customers, is from your loyal customers. Yeah. It affects customer spend and if they're going to leave. Forrester Research says that 93% of companies agree that customers are more likely to spend money with the brand that they feel connected to. So I was thinking today, what are you doing for loyal customers, Jane? And I sent out an email recently thanking my customers. And then I thought, what companies are sticking out during this time? And one that came to the top, I have to tell you, is Master Networks. Oh. Charles Wilson coming on every night and doing his Facebook Live. He giving uh, that, that business summit. summit that's coming up for free. The work that you have done to keep New York and Connecticut people together and connected through Master Networks is astounding. You have really made a difference. And Master Networks is climbing to the top, in my eyes, of a company that's doing this right. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's important. I think that when you take the time to realize that business customers are people too, and I call it the Gemini effect, you take the step back and you take the time to get to know who they are and you tell stories and you connect from the heart. And then that makes people want to come back. One of the things I've learned in the last year is mind mapping. People say, what is a mind map? Love it. It's a powerful tool to graphically represent ideas and concepts. It provides a way to analyze, organize, comprehend, synthesize, recall what's in the back of your brain, to brainstorm, to record ideas, increase your subconscious creativity. And for my left brain people, yes, it tracks progress. It is a tangible tool. Down in the bottom, I show you one of my mind maps that I've done recently. It's just one branch for each of the six categories, which is personal, career, lifestyle, relationships, finance, and health. I'm not gonna go into all of them, but I'll just say that under relationships, I have set up three face-to-faces this week. That is one of my goals. And then that so each one has a meaning it has a, a action and it has a due date behind it can i ask a question go back to sure. that again so each one of what each one of your like personal career lifestyle uh like each one of, yep so each one of the branches mm -hmm. will have an action mm -hmm. 
something you believe, something you want, and a due date. Great. Okay, got it. Okay. So mind maps and affirmation stories and the process that Jamestorm is, is more than something you hope for. Yes, wishing matters, but action makes it happen. So when people can put affirmations and the mind map together, they see success. They get wowed, they get inspired, and it's their words. It's, it's, it's your words, it's your actions. The tool is Jane Storm. The mind is the person and the client that I'm working with. Got it. I just was on a, a podcast recently and I was called the queen of positivity. And people have always said that I'm positive and purple power. And, and then I got introduced to Simon Sinek in the last couple of months. Do you listen to Simon? Oh, it's an excellent TED talk. You know, he's, he's Discover Your Why is the name of his book, right? Yep, start, yep. So he recently, I had like an epiphany. I was like, oh, so how do I find my optimism? Because I am positive, but optimism accepts the truth of reality and looks forward to a brighter future. So right now, are we living in that big time, right? Because the truth of reality is that all our lives have changed forever. Right. But we can still have optimism with a pragmatic strategy for accomplishing our goals. And it's our foundation for hope. If we lose hope, oh gosh, forget it. We cannot lose hope. Exactly. And so I came up with this this morning. I was like, so how am I going to remember optimism over positivity? And I said, it's going to pique my interest. I'm going to have patience. Right now, every one of us is having to have patience. We're living 24 seven with people. We are going to the supermarket and waiting on long lines. We are not getting things. We're so used to being able to have instant gratification and now we're having to wait. We have to have empathy. We're wearing masks in New York, not only for ourselves, but for everybody else around us, for the frontline workers, for the people that are doing the jobs that we don't want to do. We have empathy for them. We have acceptance. It's not where we want to be, but we're accepting this and moving forward. And there's kindness. Oh my gosh, the acts of kindness are just astounding. Absolutely. It's so beautiful to hear the stories of the acts of kindness. I just read this morning, there's a high school out on Long Island and they set up a group of high school students are uh, set up a meal plan and they are going out and shopping for all the seniors in their town. It's great. Right? I mean, just small little things that make a difference. Huge, huge impact on people's lives. And then accountability. You have to set clear expectations. It has to be simple. You want to invite comments. You want to measure your progress. You need people to provide feedback to you. You want to have a link to positive or negative consequences. One of the things that I've learned as a coach is that many people are scared to give constructive feedback. We spend our lives fearful of how to give constructive feedback. Constructive feedback is what is the gift that another gives to us to get us to grow. Nixie, you are very good at giving constructive feedback. Were you always, or was that a learned behavior to you? Um, well, I was extremely, I was painfully shy all through up until college. So it was definitely, it, I was learned because I also was, uh, my background's HR. Uh, I was an mm. HR director uh, in a corporate um, setting. And so I, I knew that I had to, you can't crush somebody. You know, right. you, you can't crush them by just being so blunt that, you know, that they're not going to hear what you have to say. But I've learned over time that the most important thing 
that I can do is ask permission to give that you know, that construct constructive uh, feedback. Yes, it's so true. And then you get to evaluate the person that gets that feedback gets to evaluate the effectiveness, right? If they want to take it or not. Oh, totally. One of the things I, I found this week was that studies find there is a 65% chance of completing a goal if you commit to an accountability partner. 65%. But even more important is if you set up an appointment with that accountability party partner, your increase goes up to 95% committed. Wow. So a question I have for people watching this today is, how are you accountable? And do you have an accountability partner? And oh my gosh, tap into Master Networks. I know two women that meet every Monday. They are accountability partners. Yeah. They are in Master Networks and they do an amazing job with it. And I, that is one of the things that I want to do is find an accountability partner as we move forward because I think it makes a huge difference. Perfect. So as you move forward through the storm, create a growth mindset. Instead of thinking, I can't do that, think of what am I missing? I'm not good enough. I will learn how to do it. I made a mistake. Mistakes help me improve. Blame someone else. Acknowledge reality. We have to focus on what, how, why, and who as we go from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset to move forward through this tumultuous time in history. If you bring it all together, really it comes down to when you protect your core and you look at these six items, you'll have hope and you'll have hope for the future. And that, that's what this is all about, is getting people to propel each other forward. Get past the mind clutter. Use creative brainstorming, creative tools, gratitude, affirmations, loyalty, mind mapping, optimism, and most importantly, accountability to yourself and others. And that will protect your core and give you hope. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Can you, um, and so we'll put all of your, your uh, contact information in the, in the bottom of this video. But Great. you said, I want to remind people, you had said that you would love to have an email from them to you. Yes. Giving what, what was the thing that you wanted? I want to know who they're, who they're grateful for, what they're grateful for, um, how they are accountable, and if they have an accountability partner today. Great. Love to know that. So you know what? I just want to say thank you. Like, so out of all the lunch and learns that I've done, this is the first one that made me teary. Ah. So, <laughs> and, um, you know, only in the good way, because it was a story, you know, that you told of, um, you know, uh, the uh, Gary's hearts. Imperfection wins. Samwilling.com. We'll put that information too. And sorry, say it again. It was what dot com? Uh, Samwilling dot com. Samwilling dot com. Yes. Yeah, we'll yes. add that in there too because I would love people to 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 pay that forward. That would be fantastic. And I'm going to go on there later and see what I can do. I just want to say thank you, Jane. You are such an inspiration to me. Um, I can't believe I've only known you for since <laughs> August. It so feels weird. like a lifetime. Yes. So in a good way. And uh, you're really one of those people that, um, you know, really your positivity just, it attracts, you know, uh, good. Thank so you. thank you so much for everything. One of the things that Miguel Sampano said, and I'll leave you with this, is that Master Networks, every Master Networks meeting is a happy hour. <laughs> and oh, it's so true. I love that. Thank you yeah. so much for saying that. I can't tell you when, uh, when this was um, an idea, a germination, you know, a little seed of an idea with Chaz Wilson and Dr. Ed LaQuire and, and, uh, and Dave Jenks, and they said to me, oh, you should consider, you should consider uh, opening up New York. And I was just like, what? I and know. who would have thought that that 
was a time where I could have said, nah, you know, it's a lot of trouble. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do that. All of these things that a lot of us are, are facing. So I want everyone to understand that, you know, you and I, we get it. We started mm -hmm. something, you know, mm -hmm. we started something that both of us is, is a movement. It's a movement, you know, yes. and that's the thing is so, you, so people can do this with their own companies. They can make it by using like, for instance, all the steps that you're talking about to mm -hmm. create the, the, the uh, mission and vision and the, and, you know, and, and their direction. And this is yes. a direction that they can work with you on it. So I just want to say thank you. And I've been through the Jane Storm process, so I can absolutely say it's amazing. And right. what, what is, I know everybody says the same thing. Wow. Right. Yeah. That's the, that's <laughs> like your biggest uh, testimonial is wow. So I just want to say thank you. And we'll have all the information if somebody else wants to contact you about the Jane Storm method and process. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.